The rate of overweight and obesity has been increasing for almost 30 years in the UK. There are a range of illnesses such as type 2 diabetes or cardiovascular diseases that are commonly associated with being overweight or obese, which costs the NHS approximately £6 billion each year. Several factors such as lifestyle changes are likely to have played a role in this trend, but one leading factor is certainly our diet and especially the amount of calories that we consume on a day-to-day -day basis. To tackle obesity among children, Public Health England has published guidelines last year to achieve a calorie reduction of 20% in a range of food products from various food categories by 2024. The guidelines from Public Health England suggest that the targets can be achieved through a portion size reduction as well as reformulation of products. In terms of reformulation of products, a popular strategy is to replace calorie-dense ingredients such as fats with macronutrients that have a lower calorific content. While fat provides 9 kilocalories per gram, fibers usually provide only 2 kilocalories per gram. Additionally, the recommended intake of dietary fiber has been increased in 2015 to 30 grams per day for adults. A comprehensive literature review by the Scientific Advisory Committee on Nutrition, conducted just before these updated values were published, has shown that the average intake in the UK is currently nowhere near this level. So by using fiber as a method of reducing the calorie density of food products, we also add nutritional value to our products. We recently started our member-funded research project, which looks at calorie reduction and fiber enhancement. The project will carry on for three years, and a large proportion of this research in 2019 will focus on the application of different fibers into a pizza. We chose this type of product because it gives us a chance to look at each component individually and potentially results in a higher overall calorie reduction than by focusing solely on, for example, the base of the pizza. Additionally, this approach allows our findings to be more translatable into a wider range of food products. Besides the application aspect, we are planning to carry out consumer and sensory studies to identify the threshold of dietary fiber that can be used without negatively affecting the sensorial properties, but also the level at which consumers would reject the product. To potentially improve the level of dietary fiber that can be accepted by the consumer, we will trial different physical pre-processing methodologies, such as ultrasound or extrusion of fibers, to improve their functionality and reduce the negative effect that would otherwise be associated with a high level of this type of fiber. Two last elements that we are going to look at is firstly to conduct a patent search to identify potential sources of novel fibers that are likely to enter the market soon and secondly our chemistry department is developing a method for the determination of inulin and polydextrose which will then be available as a new service for our members.